Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB. Got another review video for you guys today that I'm really excited for. I wanna apologize in advance if you hear any noise in the background. I'm currently babysitting my niece and nephew at the moment and I wanted to get this video out of the way here. Here we have the real size talking Woody doll and Buzz Lightyear action figure from Takara Tomy, which is a company located in Tokyo, Japan, I believe. I will fact check that. But today, of course, we're only reviewing one of these toys, which we will be reviewing the Woody doll. So looking at the box here, well, there is a lot of Japanese writing here. Very few English words in here. Talks in English and Japanese, which is probably the best feature of this Woody doll. Sorry, I think I bumped into my camera. It also comes with a little sticker sheet. I think that's what that is, where you can put your own name on the boot without having to use a permanent ink marker. The side of the box here is kind of the same, just has a ton of Japanese writing along with the back. Very few English writing right there, right there, there. And of course it does, I do believe that does mean that this toy has 62 sayings. Okay, got a little message from my niece Lula. She did want to give me this uh, little ice cream here. Looks very delicious. Thank you, Lula. I do believe they did release a handful of versions of the uh, bilingual Woody and Buzz Lightyear toys and they did release them with other characters, I think. Uh, there was also a Toy Story 4 version of this, but this is the remix version where he has sayings from all sorts of uh, movies he was in. Without further ado, let's get this Woody doll out of the box. All right, here's Woody out of the box, and he honestly does look a lot like a Thinkway Woody doll. Not necessarily a Toy Story collection Woody doll or whatnot, but one of those older Thinkway models that they released, or even a uh, Toy Story 3 Playtime Woody. He kind of definitely reminds me of that. But having said that, there are a bunch of differences that I like to point out, such as the tone of the skin and also the tone of the hands and kind of the material here. They are the same kind of mold for the closed uh, fingered hands here. Same on this hand, obviously. Uh, I do like the buttons right here. The buttons are sort of close to accurate right here. Uh, the tone of the face on the other hand, like I was get, trying to get to, is more yellow. I don't know how to put it, but you can definitely tell that there's some rosy little parts of his cheeks right there and his pupils i can't get over his pupils they are not brown like the movie they are orange like what the hell even is that the badge right here is a little different than thinkways uh it's some kind of different mold i believe maybe it's a similar one i don't know it's been a while since i've seen the uh, older thinkway model but i do like how the uh badge right here is kind of fastened securely on his vest right there and i do like the proportion size of his vest right there and i love the color how it's super white and pops out and the cow pattern right here they really went at it for uh accuracy right there the buttons on the front part of the shirt are fastened more securely than uh the buttons right here which is something that kind of irritates me a little bit i will say that i do like the shade of yellow they use for the belt buckle here it's a more accurate one than the uh signature collection or regular toy story collection woody holster is kind of similar to uh the original thinkway woody before the uh collection one came out it doesn't swivel and articulate it kind of just stays in place it also has a hole right there all right something i do not like about this woody on the other hand is the hat it's a very uh big pet peeve of mine for some reason. It's uh, kind of a robbery material where you can kind of do this. It almost reminds me of the UK Woody's hat, which I do not have the UK Woody yet, but I hopefully plan on obtaining that Woody someday in the future. I just don't like this hat. I feel like they could have done better with the hat. I really wish they could have gone with something like this. This is a 1995 Woody hat. Uh, the color is not bad. For some reason, the band that they colored on here isn't that good. But just ignore that. We are going to put that on him. We're going to put that on him, and it doesn't look that bad. It fits his head fairly good. Now, another hat that I think would probably have been a really good pick is this hat. The uh, signature collection Woody hat, or just a regular collection Woody. It has a cotton thread stitch. Not completely movie accurate, but way better. Love the material and the coloring on here the best. Now, this honestly looks really good on my Woody doll. Now, something I noticed right off the bat with this Woody is that he has print-on denim jeans. These are not actual denim, but they look much better than the Signature Collection, in my opinion. They are a lighter blue than the Signature Collection because we all know that Cloud Pattern and Toy Story Collection used real denim for the Woody jeans. Also, I think they did that for the white logo for Toy Story Collection for Wave 2. 
or whatnot, then Signature Collection, they uh, kind of just went a step back and did print on denim. I actually kind of like this on him. He does look really good. Now, the boots are not terrible, but they aren't the best either. But they are definitely uh, passable for a good Woody doll. Now, I'm going to be showing off the bilingual voice box for last because that's the best part. I want to show off this uh, sticker sheet that this Woody doll came with where you can like take off singular pieces of sticker letters. Uh, both in English and in Japanese and a little Bonnie decal on here. Barf. You can write your own name without actually having to use permanent ink like uh, the Toy Story movies had used. Uh, yeah, I put my name on that. I actually think it's a pretty decent job right there. Kind of like that. I was hoping to uh, find a way to do my name in Japanese, but that's kind of difficult. All right, now for the best part, I'm going to show off the voice box features. My name is Woody, and how do you feel? Yes! I made it! What are you doing out here? Oh, I love you too! Staff meeting, everybody! Amigos! We're all amigos! What? No, 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 you can't go! Operation Pull Toy. Right, 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 sorry guys. Reach for the sky! Uh, okay, alright, okay, that is enough. Yeah, that's enough for the English part because there is a lot of phrases on here from all four movies. Now for the Japanese part. Now for this feature to access it, you got to open up his compartment right here. And this right here in the middle for the switch is off. That is Japanese. Let's get it going. All right, guys, for the main event. Now, we all know that it's a pretty known fact that most of the Toy Story 4 toys that were released by Thinkway or just any other company other than Signature Collection kind of suck. They were kind of bad, kind of like the movie itself. Hey guys, Editing AB here. I noticed that I didn't specifically say, for those who didn't know, that the Signature Collection Toy Story toys were also owned by Thinkway. But they also have a separate Thinkway line, which is cheaper than Signature Collection. Probably should have been more specific. But that line for Toy Story 4 that was not Signature Collection that they did sucked really bad. It, it was terrible. But I will say that Takara Tomy did a amazing job on this Woody doll. Probably my favorite one I've seen in a while. Love this Woody doll. So yeah, this is the end of my review. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe for more videos. This has been your boy Avi. Out. Peace out, Rainbow Trouts. Hey guys, you made it to the end of my video, and here is my announcement. I am taking a break from YouTube until the 19th or 20th of June, because I gotta figure out a new uh, schedule for uh, me uploading videos, me making videos, because the current schedule I'm working with right now, I feel like isn't working. I mean, I'm not just talking about like with the algorithm. I'm also talking about my sleep schedule. I'm also talking about my work schedule. I just gotta figure out a way to work it all in between so I can also upload consistently and also get sleep and go to work properly. Um, I'm gonna figure something out and I will see you guys after the 19th or maybe the 20th. See you guys.